What's going on everybody? It's Ricky with Video Homicide back with a very special tribute to one of my favorite filmmakers of all time, none other than the legendary Lucio Fulci. Uh, this man has made tons of movies that I've still yet to see, so I'm not claiming to be the world's biggest Lucio Fulci fan. I'm just showing you off the shit that I've collected and just love, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to kick it off with uh, a bootleg that I've actually uh, created myself. This is the Gates of Hell trilogy. So you've got City of the Living Dead, The Beyond, and House by the Cemetery. If you've followed my channel for a while, I used to go by Bluntzilla Video, and, and right here we got the Bluntzilla Video stamp of approval. This is number two in the series that I was making. I think I did, I did one that has Tales from the Crypt on it, the one from 19, the, the 70s. Uh, then there's this one, and the other one has like Zombie Monster Squad, and uh, I think I Come in Peace, which is a movie that I love and I've, I don't think I've talked about enough. I just really love that movie with Dolph Lundgren. But this is a movie that I've fallen asleep to many a night. I love uh, the, the trilogy. I've got like my little mock-up, you know, contents, little table of contents there. But uh, moving on to another bootleg, this is like a German, like it's totally not like from Germany, but I mean... Uh, this is someone made this up. I bought this at Shockstock actually this year. We've got uh, the Beyond right here. I love the the artwork on the cover. You know, a couple of scenes at the bottom here, but nothing to it really. I think I paid ten bucks for that, which is fair. These are some more bootlegs that I've made that I've yet to get copies of. I just uh, printed off the the sleeves, slid them in uh, uh, Disney cases. So this right here is House by the Cemetery. This is the Vipco release, uh, which has like that famous cult classic logo that looks like the Coca-Cola font. Uh, really love this stuff. Love the cover art. I think it's fantastic. Uh, the font, just everything about it. It's, it kind of got stretched in the process of the print, but you know what? It's not that bad. Uh, this is the same case. Like, again, the tape isn't in there yet. I want to get, you know, copies of it eventually to slide in there. I actually have a copy of uh, New York Ripper to put in there, but... Uh, again, amazing art. This this <laughs> artwork actually came from VHSCollector.com, which is run by a guy that I'm subscribed to on YouTube. He makes videos talking about VHS tapes and different shit like that. But New York Ripper is a hell of a film. If you've never seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, right here, we've got Zombie. Uh, a, a, a version of Zombie, I believe, Japanese. Uh, you know... What, what can you really say about zombie that hasn't already been said? It's great. When I, I first encountered zombie, this is my little my little story about zombie. So I remember the first time me and my dad watched it, it was, uh, you know, the, the Anchor Bay release, which is coming up. And he had another film called Zombie 2, which I couldn't find on the wall behind me. So I'm going to kick myself in the ass when I do find it. But I remember we, we watched zombie and we were like, wow, this is that, that was fucking awesome. And then we popped in zombie 2. And it was it was zombie again so that was like one of my first examples or experiences of films with multiple titles uh, of course we've got city of the living dead this is another one of my you know m my bootleg jobs that i've yet to, to get a tape for but city of the living dead i think this is my favorite poster uh i i've got it hanging on the wall over there with a couple of other fulci things i got some fulci artwork kicking around too but uh, really, really enjoy City of the Living Dead. It, it is my favorite Fulci film. Uh, speaking of City of the Living Dead, it also goes by the alternative title, The Gates of Hell. Now, this is an actual legit copy of uh, The Gates of Hell, City of the Living Dead. Great stuff. Uh, this was put out by, uh, it kind of looks like Anchor Bay. It says Creature Features, but I'm pretty sure a lot of those Anchor Bay tapes were kind of set up like that. It said VHS at the bottom. Uh, this is another legit... Uh, this is a Vipco release of The Beyond. This was uh, both of these films I got from my uncle. Uh, love The Beyond. I haven't watched The Beyond nearly as much as uh, City of the Living Dead, but I still think it's awesome. Really good stuff. And this cover is just amazing. Very like 90s rental store. Like you could see this on a wall. And it's just, it's a really, you know, the thing about the Gates of Hell trilogy to me, I think all three movies are awesome. It's just for me, City will always be the best for some reason. Uh, again, this is a bootleg of the uh, Blue Underground copy or version of City of the Living Dead on DVD. Uh, it's the only version that I have on DVD, which is unfortunate, but I just, I never see them out in the wild. I never see them in any shops or anything like that. I know Arrow did like a really crazy 
uh, box set of City of the Living Dead, but I, you know, I never got a chance to check it out. This is uh, House by the Cemetery, which is, you know, I know that Anchor Bay did a version. I'm pretty sure Arrow's done a version. I, I'd like to upgrade this one. I'm not big on upgrading shit, but this this is like a very public domain -y sort of like legacy entertainment uh, release. So, and not the best quality, to be honest with you, but I picked that up for $7 somewhere in time. Okay. Uh, again, here's another, uh, this is an Anchor Bay bootleg of the Beyond, and then shout out to my buddy Justin at Odyssey Records, I was able to pick up uh, the Grind, I almost said Grindcore, uh, Grindhouse releasing version of uh, the Beyond, this is like glow in the dark apparently, but I've never put it to the test, but I think it came with uh, the, the, what do you call it, soundtrack, yeah it did, so a lot of the, uh, or almost, I think all of the Grindhouse flicks that I've picked up. I got Pieces, I uh, I Drink Your Blood, this, and I think I have one other film, Cannibal Holocaust, and I think they all have the soundtrack, which is awesome. So, highly recommend checking this out. This was, uh, the last time I watched this was when I bought this. So, I, I made a, I, there was a video about it somewhere on the channel. Love the Beyond. Uh, this is another film that I love, but I just hate this fucking cover art. It's not terrible, but I prefer the original, and this is Zombie. This is the legit uh, Blue Underground. Uh, I have to say legit because I do own a lot of bootleg films, and I don't want to, like, beat around the bush like I fucking, you know, I'm not trying to lie about what I got, but uh, I, I prefer the photo of, uh, you know, uh, you'll we'll, we'll see it in a second. This is still okay, like, when there's Storm in New York City. Uh, really love really love zombie again like j just based on the little story i told you earlier the experience with my dad like you know i just i won't forget this type of shit this is the movie we watched first though the exact copy zombie anchor bay release uh hard or clamshell love this image i think it's iconic it, it, it it's literally when i think of italian horror or just italian special effects i pretty much like by default go to this image right here really love it i i love i love that these zombies in this film like they they're very like dry looking and you know even like the scene that everyone talks about when they talk about zombie with the shark you know underwater i'm not saying that's not an amazing scene i just think that there's more intense scenes or scenes that i think are better um of, like right in the opening of the film where uh there's the fat zombie on the boat i think that's a crazy fucked up scene that just really is awesome to me you know it's there's no other way to describe it. i love this filmmaker and i love his film speaking of the fat zombie uh this is a bootleg that i believe i picked up from odyssey records when they were at the first location it's a uh, zombie uncut widescreen i don't think i ever popped this in but i just bought it because it looked so like homemade and, and cheap like although there is a sticker that says zombie aka zombie 2 on it uh and, and that is a badass cover I, I will say, like, when I compare the two, I still go for this one all day, but really cool shit. I do have another copy of Zombie somewhere on tape, but I just could not find it. Piss me off. Uh, moving on. This is something weird. I picked this up from Odyssey Odyssey's booth at Shockstock, and this is the Lucio Fulci documentary called Para, Lucio Fulci Remembered Volume 1. If you've seen this, let me know what you think about it, because i got to pop this in one of these days. Maybe I'll do a marathon, you know, in an upcoming weekend and, and watch, you know, the three Gates of Hell films and then pop this in just to see. Uh, I I think I, I watched, like, a little bit of a trailer of this on uh, YouTube, and it, it looked like it was very, um, you know, low-budget kind of documentary-style production, but that's fine with me, man, as long as as long as the right people are there and or, or people with good stories, information, whatever it is, I... I'm, in, I'm interested. I'd love to see some behind-the-scenes footage. Uh, so that's what I look forward to about this. And I, I love how they're... <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll get into that at a later date. But moving on to a film I've yet to see again, we've got uh, Lizard and a Woman's Skin. So this one, I believe, came out in 19... It's a Jallo, and... Of course, I can't find the date on it, but nonetheless, I've heard things about this movie. I heard it's crazy. Uh, there's a lot of Lucio Fulci giallos that I've yet to see. I, I watched The Black Cat, 
which I don't own on like as in physical media uh, but I really loved that and I'd like to get a copy of that there's a, a movie called en Enigma I think it's called I've I passed up on that a few times at different shops and I'm trying to think of a couple of other ones that I've just passed up on it's it's hard hard to remember but because there's so many Fulci films I know there's like even uh, kind of western or not westerny but like sort of uh, Mad Maxis rip rip off <laughs> Mad Maxi rip off type shit or like Conan the Bar Barbarian type rip off shit it's you know I got to look into it a little bit more I got to get some more Fulci flicks so uh, this is a movie I've yet to see as well. We've got Manhattan Baby. Uh, paid eight bucks for this at Shock Stock. This I've heard mixed opinions on this film. I've heard it's really bad and I've heard it's really awesome. So I can't wait to uh, put it to the test. Now, this is uh, the Anchor Bay release. It's weird because it's like a white case, eh? And I picked up the next film from the same seller at Shock Stock. And uh, that is New York Ripper. So, out of the Fulci films that I've got, I've seen the Gates of Hell trilogy, I've seen Zombie, I've seen New York Ripper, Black Cat, and uh, that's basically it, and Zombie 3. Uh, but there's, you know, there's a whole story behind that anyways. Uh, New York Ripper, great film. This red case, I think, is amazing. I wish that I had a shit like this is like this type of clamshell like the anchor bay clamshells they're like they feel so much better than you know your your basic sort of shitty video store clamshell because they're they're rounded they're sturdy i don't know it's something about a good a good case that i love and i was really stoked when i found this uh for eight bucks both of those eight bucks so uh moving on to the comic books and like zines that i've got we'll start it off with uh me my a zine that i'm a part of with uh radioactive blob fuel danny b from the trash dash and my buddy kyle this is uh cinema 187 with of course a scene from zombie right there on the front uh and we did different renditions of characters and one of the characters we did if i can find it here fuck we did uh city of the living dead the priest so everybody on the team drew the priest so started off there's like a picture from shogun assassin then we got the poster city of the living dead and then you know different artists rendition everybody did a piece radioactive blob fuel kyle um danny b like knocked it out of the park with his right there uh this is not like the best representation of showing this zine and then there's mine right there uh i really really loved doing this stuff uh, I want to do more, and I want to do more Fulci ones. Speaking of uh, Fulci zines, uh, a while ago I was in contact with a, a creator on Instagram called Richie the Caterpillar, and he did a zine called Fulci Lives, and then he he did uh, Fulci Lives Redo, or Redo, uh, where it's it's all artists' rendition of different Fulci things, and I said, hey, would would you would you accept spray paint? Because I was doing a lot of spray paint art at the time, and he said, fuck yeah. So, uh, if I can find it right there, this is pretty rough. This is early in my, in my spray paint days, but there's my version of, uh, this, you know, the maggot eye zombie from zombie, of course, moving along. This is cool, man. Like seeing it all in a pile like this is insane because usually, you know, it's all scattered throughout the collection. But now I think I'm going to dedicate one of these like shelves, like a, just a Fulci shelf, maybe I could probably fit all my Fulci and all my Romero together. I think that would be a good combo. Or maybe I could do like Argento with Fulci. That would probably be better. Uh, so this I just featured in a pickup video, but I've got uh, the Beyond Issue 1 put out by Ebon Press or Ibon Press. And I've got my, my, my original box with the Fulci comic stamp on it. And it has all of my other... Fulci books with all like this I even kept all the sleeves I took all the plastic off because I I noticed that the the comics were starting to choke a bit uh they were not choke but like they were kind of smothered or starting to warp you know because when stuff's wrapped like that it can tend to warp all right so here we go so this is they're not in order for fuck's sakes but this is issue two zombie issue two we've got and these come with like all kinds of like goodies stickers and all that kind of shit i'm not going to pull it out because i've showed them in videos this is issue four which is the 
end of the zombie film story and then they continued they continued the story but i didn't pick up anything past that this is number one zombie issue one and this is uh, a really badass cover for zombie issue three i'm going to show this one just because it's here and because it's fucking awesome uh we've got maniac issue one I'm telling you, man, Ebon Press, they are a fucking hell of a company. I'm glad that I got what I've gotten. This is the type of company where when shit goes, when they set, when they put something up for sale, buy it then because you're going to fucking miss out. Gates of Hell, issue one. And uh, I think that they did a House by the Cemetery, but I didn't pick that up because I'm an idiot. So now I'm missing a few things out of the collection, but what I have, I, I really do love. So that's it for the, uh, for the Fulci stuff, man crazy i can't I, like almost like a 20 minute video or 15 minute video just just on fulci shit so again i gotta definitely check out uh the films that i've not in his uh filmography but again it's a daunting task there's so many of them and i'm still working on a lot of other filmmakers like just trying to you know watch what i can when i can so uh again there's some there's some uh george romero films that i've yet to see I believe there's one, uh, it's like a, about like which season of the witch. I know, uh, my girlfriend actually watched that by herself and I, she was like sending me Snapchats while she was watching. I'm like, what movie is that? She's like, Oh, it's Romero. What, you don't fucking know. And I was like, Holy fuck. I don't know. So really looking forward to checking that out. I remember there was a box set that came out. I think season of the witch was in that box set, but, uh, that is like, I, I don't see that anymore. Uh, I'm sure you could probably buy some of this shit online, but again, I, if I'm going to buy something online, it's going to be from like a creator, like a, a zine or like those Ebon Press books or stuff in that vein, just because uh, it, it, it is still about the hunt for me. And I don't mind supporting like my buddy shops and even Cinema One when I, when I have to, because sometimes they just have a fucking sale that's too good to be true. Um, but... I guess with that being said, I appreciate everybody for watching. Uh, leave a 666 in the comments. It's crazy because there's an Instagram hashtag right now where it's like Fulci Lives Film Week. Set up by, uh, I forget who it was set up by, but I don't know if it's like a screening on like a, a streaming service. Or not streaming service, but like a you know sort of Discord service. Which uh, if, you've, if you're interested in Discord, I did make a Discord. I haven't used it much, and I'm a part of uh, the All We Need is All We Need is Sleaze Discord, uh, the Retro or Die Discord, and uh, the Monko Monko like David Cho Discord, and I think there could be one more, but I don't think so. Anyways, uh, with that being said, have a great night. Watch some Fulci films, and uh, send me send me your recommendations for Fulci stuff that that I did not mention in this video. You know, stuff that's awesome, stuff that's rad, you know, that I can check out. Because I've heard that there's some stuff that's not that great. But I'm still willing to uh, to check out the stuff that you guys say is great. So, thanks for watching and adios.